What's going on boys and girls? My name is Michael SK and welcome to the Legend of Pirates Online. This is the beta. After like two months of private development or whatever, uh, we finally have beta. So alpha was kind of lacking in features. If you guys, you know, were aware of alpha, it only had uh, fishing, uh, potion brewing, I think some sailing, but no enemies, no quests. There was not a lot there. So if you kind of compare it to Toontown Rewritten's Alpha, in a way they're kind of similar. So, now we have beta, we have quests, we, I, I guess we have like a story, we have things we can actually do, and we have progression. So, I thought now was the perfect time to jump in and start recording my playthrough of The Legend of Pirates Online. I waited, alright, I waited, I swear. So, the part that I didn't wait on was actually uh, jumping in and uh, going in and actually, you know, checking out the game. That's why I already have a character. This character is going to be my main. I'm going to work on him offline and while I'm streaming. This will be, you know, my personal character. But I will create a separate character, another pirate, that will be, uh, you know, specific for recording. And only recording. Unless I need to grind my weapons or something like that, then I'll do that on my own time or maybe while I stream. Who knows? But, yeah, that's that's what my pirate looks like right now. I'm only, like, level 9, so I'm not that far into the game. But then again, the beta just came out yesterday, so didn't have all that much time to start grinding, and I only did it while I was streaming. But regardless, let's create a pirate. Let's jump into this. I hope you guys are excited. I know I am. Hopefully there's no recording issues. Aren't you a sight? Ooh. You look how I feel, mate. Here, pull yourself together. There's a tribe in All right, so time for the customization. I don't really care too much about, uh, you know, customization. Maybe just a few things, but I'll just speed through this. Uh, let's not look terrible. I think this is the body type I have on my main. I guess we can go... Yeah, we're not going to go that scrawny. We'll go scrawny. We'll, we'll go pretty tall. Uh, skin tone. We, we got to look uh, Caucasian as hell. And for everything else, I'm pretty much going to randomize. Um, let's not look repulsive. But we, we got to have some detail to our face. So we'll go with that for a jaw. Like I said, I really don't care. That looks fine. Eye color. Or eyes in general. Um... Oh, God. Well, you know, if he wasn't looking all shy, you know, it would really help. Um, yeah, let's go with that. Nose. Good enough. Actually, you know what? No, 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 no. That point's way too down. Sure, why not? All right, ears. Uh, sure, why not? Now, hair. Hair I'll actually do. I'm going to go for the, the full what? head of hair. Is that your hair or a mop? Shut the fuck up, Jack. Uh, beard. I'll go for the... Uh, for a, for a little bit of a beard. Yeah, we'll go with this little bit. Stop waving at nothing. Mustache. Hmm. Let's go with this, uh... Ooh, yeah, right there. That looks uh, pretty terrible. We'll go with, um... I don't want to do white hair, but... <laughs> white hair is pretty good. Let's go with black. Black is a pretty solid color. Now, for clothes, there's not a lot to choose from. I don't want to look terrible. I guess we'll just wear the basic pirate shirt. It will be the color uh, gray, blue. I'm not really sure what that is. Vest? We'll wear a vest. We'll, we'll, we'll wear this vest. For a belt, we'll wear a normal belt. For pants, those looks like th those actually look like some pretty good pants. For shoes, we'll wear these. I mean, we look pretty good. Now, I'm not a big fan of typing a name because then I have to wait for it to be accepted. So... Just like I did in Toontown Rewritten when I started, and just like with uh, my main on here, I'm just going to choose a name. Hopefully it's pretty good. I'll randomize it a little bit. I don't want my name in there. Um, Alright, I think Edgar Rope Fox will be pretty damn good. I feel like that's a solid name. We're going to be Edgar Rope Fox. Actually, oh man, I'm not really sure. Rope Fox. Eh, screw it. Uh, yeah. Why not? An honor to meet you, truly. And now, 
It's time to make our sortie. As in exit. As in leave. As in now. Works every time. That's not thunder, mate. If I were you, I'd fetch my personal effects and get out of range of those cannons. It may not look like it, but in those cutscenes, I actually was getting 60 frames per second. So the pirate tutorial. Um, I guess I should do it since it's a playthrough. Screw it. Basically, it's just going to kick me out of the jail, and we'll have a little tutorial. Alright, I don't know exactly where we're at, but it kind of screwed over my beautiful 60 frames per second. It was actually getting a solid 60 in there, so that was pretty good. So there is weather in this game. Uh, and I actually did not remember there ever being rain. I, I really don't, but whatever. So we're going to walk towards the lay of right, or light of right. Light ray, Jesus Christ. Enter the old warehouse to get a sword. So hopefully uh, this actually works out and everything, because when I tried doing this on stream when this first came out, I crashed right after the tutorial ended. That's why I was kind of on edge there. But um, no, man, I'm... I'm excited to do this. I'm going to do a lot of editing and cutting out and stuff like that when it comes to this playthrough, unlike Toontown Rewritten, uh, because there's a lot of loading screens, and there's a lot of uh, moments where I'm not going to talk, or there's nothing exciting going on, so there's that. On my word, do as I say or I'll run you through. Hmm, unarmed. Wait, you're Jack's friend. Please, accept my apologies. Can't be too cautious. Well, you aren't much use unarmed, with Jolly Roger's skeleton army on the move. Here. The blade's a bit rusty. Not well balanced. But it should suffice for the present. Not familiar with the blade? That practice dummy will do. Alright, it actually did not throw me into the ground. Like... In the, in the stream, when I first started playing this and everything, uh, there was a bug where as soon as that cutscene ended, you were swimming in the ground. So, I, I don't know. Um, I kind of already know how to use weapons, so I'm just going to click no. Keep the sword. You'll need it. But you'll need more than just a cutlass if you're to challenge the likes of Jolly Roger. Go now. It's me they're after. Good luck. Alright, so the combat in this game is pretty straightforward. I, I, I didn't feel like I needed to uh, actually show off how to use a sword, but um, I might need to actually equip the skill. Um, no, wait. No, wait. It, it didn't give... Oh, it's because I never leveled it up. Alright. So, I, I guess by skipping that, I didn't get a level up from it. Well, I will from killing these guys, I think. So, there is a lot of um, frame lag when you're fighting, here and there. And also sometimes, I don't know if this is still a thing, but I have to put my sword away or my weapon away or I can't move. It's really weird, but whatever. You there! Come aboard quickly! I was about to shove off without you. Jolly Roger will be back in a hair's breadth or my name's not Bo Beck. Risked my neck to fetch Captain Sparrow, I did. But he most generously requested that I take you to Port Royal in his place. Now grab a cannon and keep an eye peeled for trouble. Alright, Bobek. There's some trouble right there. I like the cannons in this. It's uh, it's pretty nice. Um, so we'll just easily destroy it. Alright. I didn't think it was going to be that easy. Hold your, hold your fire! It's Jolly Roger. And he's got us dead to rights. I'll handle this. Where's that yellow coward sparrow? Beck, we had a deal. But Sparrow paid me double what you was paying. A pretty piece of profit, too. Uh, so here's your gold back. Of course, I was going to reimburse you, as it were. <laughs> Looks like the price of loyalty just went up, eh? What? Can't take a joke. Rest in peace, Bobek. Dead men tell no tales. So I'm for 
rules to let you live. Just make sure Jack Sparrow knows I'm coming for him. Said I'll be letting you live. The sharks may not be so charitable. What are you waiting for? Stay calm! Rest in peace, boat, or ship, or whatever. Alright, let's see if I'll crash. Oh, well, I guess this is the same situation I had. The district you were playing on has been reset. Great. Alright, it's time to reload the game. Alright, guys, I believe we're back. We're on Port Royal. It's still raining for some reason. And we have to defeat three undead grave diggers in the graveyard before we visit Tiadama. So, the uh, frames are terrible here. But they're also terrible in Toontown, so I'm, I'm honestly kind of used to this kind of stuff. And um, sometimes when I reload the game, like I load in and everything, uh, sometimes my stuff isn't here. Like it doesn't load my level, doesn't load my weapons. It's really weird. And as far as I know, there is no uh, aggression the hostility, there's like a problem with that and everything. So, oh wait. Someone left a loot pouch here. Or not. Okay, whatever. But yeah, they, like, the enemies will not attack you first. And I got disconnected. Alright, that's fantastic. And we're back. Alright, hopefully third time's the charm here. So, still the same mission. Gotta defeat three skeletons. No, no more wasting time. N none of that garbage. We gotta actually go all the way over to where we gotta be because it spawned us on the other side of the island. So we got a little bit of a walk for us, but uh, I'd like to take the opportunity to just say that, yes, there are a lot of problems with this. It is um, still very early on, this entire game. It's, it's, uh, it's got a lot of bugs. It's got a lot of uh, issues that can cause crashes and disconnects, but... It's still playable. I swear. I had a fun time playing it on my streams. And I, I can't wait to record this entire playthrough for you guys. It's probably going to take me a long ass time. But I'm excited. I'm excited to play this. It's playable. It's just... It's early on. It's going to have some issues. So. Let's try this again. Let's kill these undead grave diggers. As I was saying... Um, Alright, sword level 2. As I was saying, they will not be aggressive. They won't attack you first. I'm not sure if that was a thing back then. I really don't know. I can't remember. And also, we just got a... Ooh, wait. No, we got a loot pouch here. We got some, uh, some, some pants. We got a shirt. And some explosives. Not sure what the explosives do. I, I, there's a lot of things that I don't know about this game. I used to play this game a lot when I was younger, but... Uh, th there are a lot of things that came in, like, near the end of the game's life, so I may not be, uh, that knowledgeable on some things, but every time we level up one of our weapons or something, just once we get a level up of some sort, we have a skill point that we can actually use for what we leveled up. So we're gonna actually going to use it on an ability called Sweep, and if I actually did that part of the tutorial, I would have already gotten this, but I didn't. I, I don't know why. So... We can use the ability whenever it's charged up. It can do uh, pretty good damage. It can actually hit uh, multiple enemies at once. So we're going to walk through the tree tunnel and visit Tiadama. And you'll notice at the bottom that every time we, you know, kill something, uh, we get XP for killing it. And we also get XP in the top left for uh, doing quests, uh, getting XP from fighting enemies, etc, etc. So there's, a, there's an interesting leveling system in this game that I really like, and you'll see that is very similar to other MMORPGs. The claws lie true. There's a touch of destiny in you. But know that the skeleton you destroyed was nothing but a drop in the ocean. Jolly Roger's servants are many, and most be far more dangerous. Look now. From the darkness, come the light. And one rising, Lord Beckett's deadly assassins. 
the black girl. We're supposed to see something there, but we aren't. The other, Jolly Rogers skeleton army. Their powers grow. Lord Beckett and Raja. No more this can be. You must play your part. Just as Whittier Jack will play his part. Now take this, something for you, help to find a way, yes, I watch you. When destiny whispers, I will reveal more of the dark arts. But first, you must help with their Jack recover his dear black pearl, for without a pearl, we all be lost. Go now, hurry. And we will not learn how to use the compass because it's pretty basic stuff. It's just a map. All right, so uh, I don't know why it spawns us in here. I really don't know why, but it like throws us into the next area past King's Run, which is the area we went into to uh, talk to Tiadama. And I don't think we can actually return. No, it, it tells us that we, we just can't. Even so, we do have the compass and the cutlass. I'm not really sure why it does that. Luckily, enemies will not attack us. I'll use that to my advantage. That is an obvious bug. But basically, what we gotta go do now is we gotta head back to the main part of Port Royal. And we gotta kill some, uh, some Navy soldiers. Uh, we have to get some plans from them. Or, or something. Release orders. Yeah. It says it right there. I, I don't know why I struggled to figure out what we were getting. Alright, so we're back here at the main part of Port Royal. So, we'll just find a random uh, Navy cadet. They're pretty much everywhere here. Well, not really everywhere, but they're pretty easy to find. There's like one over here, I think. Yep. It's even pointing us in the right direction. So, we'll get rid of this guy. Use the... Oh, wow. <laughs> Alright. Uh, ooh, we got two swords. Won't be able to use that, or that. Are they both the same attack? No, they're not. Okay. Well, we'll take all of that, and we'll have to go to the governor's mansion and go see uh, Elizabeth ugh, Elizabeth Swan. But, uh, man, I was actually surprised we actually got rid of that guy in just, like, one combo. And, well, with the addition of the sweep. But, as you can see, the abilities are pretty useful. Leveling up the weapons are pretty useful. Jack Sparrow's newest protege, hmm? Well, I'm afraid dear Jack is in more trouble than he realizes. Lord Beckett has recruited an army of assassins, and there's no parley with Jolly Roger. Jack needs our help if he's to take back the Pearl. The Navy has it heavily guarded. What's this? Release orders for the Pearl? I can see why Jack has taken a liking to you. But these will do you no good without my father's seal. Here. Now, if the Navy catches you with these orders, there'll be no trial. You must leave Port Royal immediately. You'll be much safer if you make for Tortuga. Find Jack. He'll know what to do. I'd go with you myself, but I'm awaiting my father's return. And he's long overdue. I'll arrange a boat for you. Good luck. I'm not exactly sure what the story is in this game. I'm trying my hardest to figure it out. But then again, it's been a while since I've even seen the movies. Alright, we also got a level up. I don't know if you guys saw that or if, or if I even got the chance to even show it. We're going to go see Darby Dry Dock and get a ship. But I leveled up my pirate here. So you can see right in front of you, it says level 2. In the top left, it says that we're level 2. Um, and every time we level up, we get some more health. We get some more voodoo. Voodoo is basically the magic in this game. If you want to be a little bit more specific. So... We'll go through this nice little path to get to the other side of the island, which is where it spawned us in. I don't know why, but it spawned us in over here. We'll go over here, get our ship, and we'll be heading to De uh, Devil's Anvil, and then Tortuga. I almost got the, uh, the two mixed up, or completely forgot about Devil's Anvil. Okay, mate, I'll give you a ship, but you'll need to rename her so no one can trace her back to me. I'm honestly not really keen on naming my ship. Immortal Raptor seems cool. Take good care of her. You'll not get a deal like this again. 
Sounds uh, pretty fantastic. Alright, and to launch our ship we just go to a dinghy, and that's pretty much it. However, uh, the first time I did this, it crashed my game, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, so the game just closed as soon as I uh, was trying to set sail. So I, I don't know if you can call that a crash, but when I was loading back into the game, it then crashed. So whatever, <laughs> we'll, we'll just see past it and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try again. Let's uh, let's try setting sail. All right, there we go. That was a pretty uh, pretty fast load time. So we've got a pretty uh, terrible looking boat here. I don't know why it threw us out on this side of the island, but we're gonna be heading over to Devil's Anvil. And we're gonna go be meeting with Captain Barbosa. I don't really remember him being a uh, a good guy, but. Whatever, I should really go back and watch the movies. Like I said, it's uh, it's been quite a while. And now that I'm older, maybe I'll understand more than when I was a kid. Who knows? But uh, regardless, like I really enjoy what, what this game has to offer. I'm not really sure on the story, but I never really got to get that far because uh, just like with Toontown, I never really got the opportunity to have a membership. I actually did get the subscription for free for like a free 30 days or something like that a few times because uh, Disney would always hold these competitions or something and they said it was like a random draw and you could get like 30 days free but it didn't really seem like a random draw it's like if you actually enter before too many people entered you would get 30 days for free which was pretty all right in my opinion I mean I don't <laughs> I don't mind. It's uh, free 30 days, but uh, the Legend of Pirates Online Tilapo here is going to be completely free, so I'm excited to go through and experience what I never got to experience before, just like I did with Two Town Rewritten. I got to see a lot that I never got to see because I never had the opportunity to play uh, with a membership. Uh, basically, it's going to be the same situation here. I'm really excited. I'm really excited to run through this game. I'm going to be running through it twice, but... That's not the uh, that's not the point. I'll have a fun time. So we'll go into this little cave here. There's some uh, some guys over there fighting. That's pretty cool. It's cool to see others playing the game. There's quite a few people that are playing the game. A lot of people that are interested. It's not as populated as Tune Town rewritten, but it's it's pretty good, you know. This here's a dark place. You need more. Than Take this. Now, take aim at the cursed Simeon over there. Prove your metal with your hand cannon. Okay, they really gotta like exclude other players from the uh from cutscenes. It's pretty bad. Alright. So we'll go ahead and shoot the monkey, and that's pretty much it. That's all there is. Now before you go blasting every feckless ingrace in sight, a word of warning. The code covers more than just parlay. It defines the guidelines of engagement for a pilot. I was getting to that, Jim Mock. This be the part. It'd be no use of unnecessary force. No shooting other pirates, or even Navy swipe that. Cheat them, steal from them, plunder their ships, yes. But no guns. That is. Unless you be facing a cursed pirate. You know, I could have sworn that there was uh, more to that cutscene, and I think it I think the other half of the cutscene basically explained the PvP. Uh, sail to Tortuga and find Jack Sparrow. Alright. So basically the reason why they implemented the code and why they have it where you can't shoot other pirates and why you can't shoot uh, quote unquote navy swine is because that would be shooting another human being, and I guess Disney wasn't really fond of that. But totally fine, you know, slash them up, use voodoo magic, and throw grenades at them, and also slice them up with a dagger. Uh, but other than that, y no shooting. Jesus Christ, what the fuck was that? Oh, it's just my ship falling apart. Alright, um, no, I didn't want to go on a cannon. 
So we'll go to Tortuga, and that will pretty much end the session. I don't know how long this video will be. It's going to be one episode uh, to start this playthrough off. But since I'm going to be cutting it up and getting rid of all the unnecessary parts of the video, I don't know how long this will be. And plus, since I keep on having to restart the fucking recording, I honestly have no idea how long this is going to be. But, it's alright. I'm sure this will be a pretty good length episode. We'll get through all, uh, pretty, pretty much all the tutorial stuff here. This will pretty much be it. Alright, um... Looks like we're here at Tortuga, but... We're in the Underground rail Railroad. Let's see if we can get out of this. All we gotta do, yeah. All you gotta do when that bug happens is you have to go into a, uh... uh a same leveled ground as what you're swimming at. I don't know why it does that. I don't know why I was running through this rock. But here we are, Tortuga. I actually like this place compared to Port Royal. It's a little bit easier to, tra uh, to traverse around. I'd say it's smaller, but it's still got your necessities. It's populated. It looks nice. All that. The town is really cool. It's pretty much all you need in this nice little compressed area. I don't know. I, I like it compared to Port Royal. So let's go see Captain Jack Sparrow. This being Singapore, by custom, I had no choice but to... You don't happen to have a lovely sister by the name of Ethel, do you? No? Good. Right then. Welcome to Tortuga. Captain Jack Sparrow, at your service. And this gentleman, who needs no introduction, is... What's your name again? John. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, uh, James, actually. Right. We were discussing the important matter of my next drink. Is... Hmm, still there? Oi. Now I remember. You're that scrap of flotsam from jail. Come to square up with me for that free trip to Port Royal, eh? We're going after the Black Pearl, mate. Savvy? So go find Joshua Gibbs. Tell him I sent you. Leave a nice tip, mate. Jeremy here pours a spirit of spirit. Alright, and uh, looks like they fixed the bug where you uh, get thrown into red water. So, I guess this is the perfect place to end the recording session. Looks like we also got uh, up to level 3. So, the first few levels are easy to gain for weapons and for your pirate so, i mean that's totally fair uh next time we'll start the quests i i guess is what they're called to um i i guess get our first crew member from what i understand uh the main quests of this game are of you trying to get the black pearl back and you need a full crew so you go to some individuals and you try to enlist them but they have like a bunch of quests for you to do and it's basically that sort of deal. So I guess next time we'll start on the quests for our first member of the crew. We'll go on from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like. If you're new here, I, I ask, I beg, I plead that you actually subscribe because I'm going to work on this playthrough uh, throughout the next few months. It's not going to be like a quick, you know, an easy playthrough. I'm going to spend my time on it. And we'll get through the game together. I don't know what the end game is, but whenever we get to it, that'll be the end of this playthrough. And I, I think it'll be something similar to Toontown Rewritten. After I get to whatever the boss is in this, uh, in this game, and I defeat it, or, or whatever it may be, that'll be it. But we'll explore the game together, we'll have a good time, and I actually should suggest to you guys that you guys check it out if you're interested. This game is in a semi-open beta phase, meaning that you you need a key if you want to play whenever you want, like I can, uh, or you need to reserve a playtime slot because they're still testing uh, their server performance with a bunch of players on. But I'm I'm sure that in a few months that they'll actually completely release into a uh, an open beta, I guess you could say, just like Toontown Rewritten did. Just give it some time, check it out if you want. And I guess I'll see you guys next time for more of The Legend of Pirates Online. Take it easy, guys.